Talking with Bridget right now, uh, of course, uh, not only out on remote in the community right now, and we're talking about some frightening winds, but she's talking about some frightening events in, uh, in and around a building very near and dear to us. Okay. Oh, yes. I'm I talking, think... Bridget, because we can't see a thing, and I thought our video went down. No, actually, we're now in the basement, Ryan and Wendy, and uh, many of... The... Jason, could you please turn on a light? <laughs> ah, phew! So we are in the basement of CKUA, and uh, yes, there has been a well-known ghost uh, that has been making its way through the halls, and uh, we're going to, in the next segment, talk to Chris Allen, who's had many one-on-one -on -one moments with the ghost. And uh, are, are you two a believer of ghosts? Yes. I... Uh... Yeah, I, yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I, no, I, I, I believe that there's things happening beyond our understanding in the spirit world. Sure, I'll put it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. me too, me too. And, and certainly we're going to hear some things in the next uh, in the next segment that will make oh. make you a believer if you're not. Bridget, I, I move on Wednesday, and I know the people aren't capable of hearing me right now because they're moving here from Saskatchewan, so I'll just say this quickly. The house I'm moving out of, remember I had to have the exorcism when oh, I first moved yes. in? Oh, yes. Yeah. You never told me that story. Oh, my, oh my gosh. We have to talk about this in the next segment at some yeah. point, Wendy, because it was Ryan. It was a, she slept in her living room for three weeks. Okay, we're yeah. going to tell this story uh, in the meantime. Cavi, Cavi, and Esther, people oh who bought gosh. my house. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to hear that story, but in the meantime, let's hand things back to Michelle for a take for a look at BT Traffic Watch. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Breakfast Television, everybody. We are live on location this morning at CKUA, but not the CKUA perhaps many of you are familiar with that beautiful building. No, today we're talking about the history of CKUA, the people that have loved CKUA so much so that when they go to the other side, they decide to come back. This is perhaps one of the most well-known spots in the city of Edmonton for being um, visited regularly, if you will, by a ghost. And so we're talking about, in lieu of Halloween upon us on Friday, the ghosts of CKUA and how you can hear all the haunting stories. 8 p.m. on Friday night on CKUA. And Chris Allen, welcome to Breakfast Television. Thank you, Bridget. It's nice to be here. Well, it's nice and creepy crawly down here. First of all, where are we right now? We're in the depths the subterranean depths of CKUA at the moment. This is where we store a lot of old archived uh, tapes of programs. We have all kinds of old LPs, even 78s. We're probably the only station still left in Canada that occasionally plays 78 RPM recordings here. Which is beautiful, and that's why we love the CKUA. We um, Jason is touring around right now some of the rooms here. <clears throat> Excuse me, as you can see, it's... Um, uh, very, uh, I would say, uh, but the walls are packed with records and like Redland you said with history I would Red, say. Uh, there you go well put um, but there is let's talk specifically about the presence that is always here at CKUA well there's uh, an old caretaker who used to be at CKUA in fact was here when I first came in the 1970s uh, his name was Sam he'd been here since the 1950s it was said that he may have made a threat to the then Premier uh, Ernest Manning and uh, was lobotomized, uh, unfortunately. When I knew him, he was a, a large, uh, somewhat shuffling, but very warm-hearted and, and easygoing man who uh, I, didn't, I never heard him sing, but Bill Cool, one of our other announcers here, he said he used to sing opera, he used to love opera at one time. And occasionally, People who have been on staff or volunteers have had some kind of an encounter, they think, with him. So now everyone loves a good moment, a good sort of, you know, hair-raising moment. Do you have specifically a story that you could share in one minute about Sam interacting with perhaps someone in the CKUA building? Well, we're going to tell this a bit on the program that we're going to do with Andy Donnelly on the Celtic program at 8 o'clock on Friday. But Lark Clark, one of our announcers here, has, she thinks, had an encounter when she was in her studio broadcasting a program and some unearthly presence alerted her to the fact that there was something other than just the usual normal goings on in the, in the station. She was feeling the hairs rise on the back of her neck and some music started playing that she hadn't touched. One of the turntables started, just started playing. Just, it was there, it was working. And it was some 
I think it may have been a piece of vocal music. He used to love vocal music, so it's possible that's what it was. But at any rate, she hadn't touched any buttons, and this is the kind of thing that seems to happen around here. Things happen. People are walking by, water goes on in the, uh, the washrooms, for instance. One of our announcers had that happen to her. She and went, nobody's using nobody the loo. Nobody was there. Nobody was there. <laughs> she walked into the door, and the tap started going. This <laughs> is the business of Sam, and this is where you can hear all the stories of Sam and so much more. It's the ghost of CKUA, Chris Allen, living in fear right now, as am I. We are in the, the depths of the CKUA, <laughs> and uh, this is what we're talking about all morning long. Ghostly stories that will raise the hair on your neck, friends. Don't go anywhere. Jason, come on. Let's go looking for Sam. Maybe Sam's down here. Sam! Congratulations to you. All right, let's head over to Bridget right now. She's at CKUA checking out the ghosties on scene. Bridget, how's it going? Oh, well, you know, it's just uh, the hair on the back of my neck is a little bit on end, i got to admit right now. We are in the basement of CKUA, and yes, friends, this is our big Halloween spooktacular week, as, of course, everything culminating on Friday, Halloween. So we're here in the basement trying to have a one-on-one -on -one with Sam, who is, of course, the infamous CKUA ghost. We're talking about the ghostly stories that will be happening on CKUA, 8 p.m., all in effort for their uh, huge fundraising drive, which, of course, we support here on Breakfast Television. But right now, Jason and I are trapped down in the bowels. Oh, the lights are going on and off, and I don't think that's Jason Carter. I think it's the ghost. Of, and Jesperson, you better take it away. Right. Well, how can we...